On Tuesday, May 7th, Pikeville Medical Center hosted their stroke awareness event on their main campus. Visitors and hospital staff could learn about what causes strokes and receive free health screenings. The event itself is there to educate the public in hopes that those who are at risk of a stroke can prevent it. Well, May is a stroke awareness month and uh, the American Heart and Stroke Association has uh, in fact kept this month for the people to know what strokes are and how we can prevent them from happening and uh, we have this slogan, be fast. Now, I was talking to Chelsea, my stroke coordinator. Be fast is not just about learning what the stroke symptoms are, but be fast to recognize what a stroke is. We've got two kinds of strokes, an ischemic stroke and a hemorrhagic stroke. Unfortunately, over the past many, many years, we've not still been able to overcome the risk factors for stroke and understand how stroke can affect the people. Appalachian Wireless, where your connections matter the most. Right now, get up to $550 off select devices on new or renewed line with the Appalachian Unlimited or Mix and Mash plan. Offer good in-store only. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Anyone can have a stroke regardless of age. There are several other risk factors, although they can be reduced. Anybody can have a stroke at any age, and we've seen it here at Pipel Medical Center. But the older you are, it makes you at a higher risk for having a stroke. High blood pressure diabetes, high cholesterol, and also smoking and atrial fibrillation. All these, in fact, we are in the stroke belt. It's called the Eastern Kentucky or Kentucky is in the stroke belt where the incidence of stroke is very high because of the increased prevalence of diabetes, increased prevalence of hypertension, increased prevalence of cholesterol, and of course, not to forget high, you know, people who smoke. So we are right in the stroke belt, and that was, that's what makes are people more prone to having strokes. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.